كلمك بقى أول كلمني أول ما يجي أول ما يجي أول ما
Baseline drive, kick out. Fotso takes the long range shot, knocks it down. And it's Doala who get on the board. On the other end, looking for the reply, Tolo couldn't knock it down. And now looking to come quick. Drive on the baseline, Fotso to the other side. Fotso drives once again, shot clock winding down. And it's taken away by CNSS. Longomo. Out to Nguz. Nguz now looks to drive, goes inside, can't get the layup to go. The rebound brought down the way of university. Kenge. They dump it down inside. Yagu with the cross court pass. And that will be a travel violation going against Fotso. It's been a slow start for the University of Doala. But they've managed to get on the board. CNSS now trying to get their hands on a bucket. Long shot goes wide. There'll be another turnover here. It'll be an unsportsmanlike foul that's called. The foul will mean two free throws as well as possession for CNSS. It'll be Longomo at the line shooting two. First free throw was good. She puts CNSS on the board. CNSS to inbound now. Longomo, top of the key. Longomo drives baseline. And she's fouled once again. Strong take from Longomo. Taking the responsibility on the offensive end. The foul will go against Kenge. Kenge now has two personals already. Longomo drives baseline through the defense, gets it to go. Longomo relent. Full court pressure here from CNSS. Oh, and it results in a quick steal. Down the floor, two more. Joel Lobo with the handle. Now Mbong makes the pass. Fotso finishes. Nguz looking to attack early. Nguz by the defense finds the pass. Mbong. In fact, it was a Yenga who just couldn't hold on there. And so the turnover will go against CNSS. Gio Lobo. Gio Lobo. Kicks it out, trying to create space. Ends in a steal and quickly down the other way. Goose adds two more. And after being down 5 0 early. CNSS now building a comeback. They lead by one. 
Jalobo tries to put up the shot. That won't go. Yagu gets the rebound. Fouled on the putback. She hits the line. The first trip to the line for the university team. First free throw. Kisses off the front of the room. Porto, the only scorer so far for the University of Daula. Misses the second, but lane violation from CNSS, and so Yagu will have another opportunity. Misses the second chance as well. The rebound stays. Yagu kicks it to the corner. Bong now checks out the game. In fact, it was Ayenga who checked out. for CNSS. Yagu gives the handle. Shot clock winding down, just five seconds to go. Joe Lobo's got to put it up, that won't go. Put back, rebound. Fantastic second chance effort. Ball top of the key, shot goes up and it drops. Londa gets the and one play on her first touch gets the bucket and the foul Londa in the first two games averaged seven points along with four rebounds, 1.5 assists. Hasn't been great from the free throw line. She's just one of three in the competition so far. As we see them attending to Nguz there, it looks like there's some blood off the contact. There'll have to be a substitution for CNSS as the referees wait to get going after that incident. Medical personnel just attending to Nguz there and CNSS relies so heavily on Nguz, particularly for their offensive production. She had 19 points through the first two games, did Nguz. On 35% from two point range, hasn't connected from deep quite yet, though, of three. Messina checking into the game for the University of Daula. It's been so close and tightly contested here in the first four minutes of the game. Just one point separates these two teams. Londo now finally ready to take a free throw. Free throw won't go. She'll have another opportunity. A lane violation.
This time, the free throw is good. Gio Lobo On the inside now, going to work. Baseline drive, trying to kick it outside to the shooter. And it doesn't quite get there. It'll be turnover number five for University of Daula. Kabi in the game now for CNSS. On the inside, they try to find Tolo. Lands up in the hands of Kabi. Kabi, front iron on the three. And the turnover off the rebound. Kaya Misina throws it out of bounds. Long jumper, Londa tries to connect from three. That's no good. And the travel violation of the second chance opportunity will go against Londa. Futsing will be the inbounder. Giolobo looking to drive. Giolobo drives baseline. Kicks to the corner. Now Futong. And a travel violation on the other end as well as Mbong gets whistled for that one. Kabi pushing it down the floor for CNSS. Tolo now. Referee blows the whistle. It seems to be an issue with the shot clock there. <laughs> Referee is just conferring. There will be no reset. Kabi. Picks up her dribble, gives it up to Londa. Kabi trying to make the pass inside. It's taken away, but turned right back over. And now Londa takes the long jumper. Londa connects from three. Giolobo, top of the key. Go inside now. Back out to Foto. Foto looking to drive. Kicks it out. Jumper is good. University of Daula finding ways to put points on the board. Londa comes up, stops and pops. That won't go. Gio Lobo quickly the other way. Drive by Kai Messina. Looked like there was a block there. Off of Tolo. Possession will remain with the university team. Gio Lobo. Driving inside. Can't find space. Now Futing. Shot clock winding down. And that will be a shot clock violation. A good defensive stance by CNSS to force the turnover. The University of Daola already have nine turnovers in the first six minutes of play. CNSS.
There's a foul. It'll go against Kai Messina. That'll be her first personal. Team's fourth team foul, and so it'll be a baseline out of bounds. Tolo, long jumper. That's short. Tussle for the rebound. Bodies on the floor. It'll be a jump ball call. The possession arrow going the way of the university. Ball in the hands of Futsing, top of the key. She passes it over. Gio Lobo gets the kick out. The jersey couldn't finish. It stays, however, and the mid-range jumper won't fall either. Both these teams absolutely doing battle for the rebounds here. This time, however, referee says a last touch came off Duala, and so it'll be CNSS ball. Another, another ball, another ball, another ball. Another ball? Kabi gives it up to Londa. Kabi collects right back, tries to go downhill, finds Londa, and Londa travels. Turnovers, a struggle for CNSS. Averaging 31.5 in their first two games. Did you see? Has it taken away by Londa? Now out in transition, they try to connect with Kimbembe. But Kimbembe couldn't hold on. Last touch was from Dawala, so it'll be CNN's ball. <laughs> and there will be an offensive foul off the ball here. More substitutions this time for CNSS as Kimbembi heads to the bench and Nguz makes her way back in. Seeming as though Nguz is fine after she took that hit. Amayaba passes it over. Now Giolobo. She kicks it back out. Shot clock winding down. Amayaba finds the edge. Manages to put down the layup. Longomo. Getting some heavy pressure from Futsing is Longomo. Manages to dump it inside. And it'll be a quick two. Giolobo been a slow start for her she's been the leading scorer for her team Giolobo kicks it out short jumper won't go rebound the way of CNSS and now out in transition strong take Nguz gets the bucket and one first trip to the line for Nguz And the free throw was good. Taula 
in the hands of Giolobo. She passes it out. Midrange jumper from the baseline won't go. And Yagu is pushed out of bounds. Well, feels as though she was pushed. She's appealing to the referee. The referee says no contact, and so CNSS have it. Londa out to the corner. Long range jumper won't fall. It's a tussle for the ball here. But in the break, two on one. Strong take. Kiami Sina gets the bucket and heads the line. Four points so far in the game for Kiami Sina. Her first trip to the line. Makes good on the free throw. Does Kai Misina. Longomo. Trying to get a final position in for CNSS. Before the quarter's up. Strong take. But Nguz couldn't finish. Second chance opportunity. Still can't go. Now down the other way. Amayaba. With the quick bucket. Londa. To Longomo. Longomo finds Londa on the inside. Londa puts it on the floor. Pull up. Jumper. That won't go. Rebound stays via Tolo. And that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. A tightly contested affair. CNSS with a slight one point lead. They have 19 to the 18 of university team. Into the second quarter we go, CNSS with a narrow one-point lead off over the University of Daola. Longomo gives it up to Nguz. On the inside, Londo to Nguz makes the extra pass. And Kimbembe gets tangled up. Last touch. Off blue though. And so CNSS retain.
In fact, not. Referee changes that. Longomo. They move it around. Londa on the baseline. Londa. Goes out of bounds. Now it's a turnover for CNSS. They come out in their full court pressure. Giolobo. Kick to the outside. Drive through the middle. Tries the drop off pass. It's taken away by Tolo. Tolo coast to coast. Tolo has it poked away. Looked like she had a clear path there. But great effort by Amayaba to catch up with her. Longomo. Out to Kimbembe. Kimbembe way short on the shot. Giolobo. Now top of the key for Ting. Long range shot. Giolobo. Still struggling to get points on the board here. Usually the leading scorer for her team. CNSS did turn the ball over. Top of the key, putting. Now Giolobo. Amayamba looks to drive. She draws the foul. Foul's on the floor. It'll go against Nguz. That'll be her first personal. Amayaba will inbound. Inside. Kick to the high post position. Kamisina couldn't get it to go. It'll be a baseline inbound. For Doala. Footing. Now, Giolobo. Hesitation. Cross court pass. Oh, and a tough drive from Mbiaba. She feels she was fouled. If he calls no contact. Longomo. Ball to the corner. Now trying to work Tolo inside. Tolo, long jumper, too hard. University push it quickly. Jolobo out to the corner. Mayaba. Takes the pick, does Amayaba. Passes it out on the roll. Stunning offense. Yagu in the pick and roll with Amayaba. Long shot. Londa connects from deep once again. She now has nine. Giolobo. Controlling the offense here. Jolobo driving strong inside. Dumps it out. Now on the shot. Kai Messina way off the mark. Nguz. Attacking the defense. Kicks it wide. Midrange. Jumper. That's good. Yomi. In her first minutes of play. Putting pressure now. Yomi.
strong drive inside. Two more points on the board as University of Douala look to close this gap. Tolo, high post jumper, that's no good. Rebound into the hands of Kaimi Sina. But Londo's gone down. London's teammates coming over to help her up there. She's going to have to head to the bench. Londa, she's had a good afternoon so far. Leads all scorers with nine points. She's been 50% from three-point range and 50% from the floor. Referees going over to have a look at the monitors to see the contact that sent Londa to the ground. These two teams so closely matched. And both looking very hungry to try and get their first win here at the FIBA African Women's Basketball League. لو كان عندك إعادة بقى كان زمانك بتعرف الإعداد دلوقتي After the review, the unsportsmanlike foul will go against Yagu, and so Londa will head to the line. Referee says it was a hit to the head. So it'll be two free throws for Londa as well as possession for CNSS. Londa knocks down the first of her three throws. Misses on the second, just leaves it short. But CNSS with another opportunity here. Inbound pass goes to Longomo. Now to the corner, long range jump shot. That won't go. Hustle for the rebound. Ends up with the last touch coming off Amayaba and so CNSS retain. 
Oh, great attempt. Bengus hit it off the back of the defender. Couldn't get the layup. But what fantastic creativity. And now Giolobo frustrated as she's whistled for a turnover. It's been a tough afternoon for that young lady. Longomo. Now Londa. Oh, moving around the perimeter. Londa puts up the three. That's short. Rebound. Goes the way of University. Quickly down the floor. Amayaba. Beats everybody in a foot race. Gets the and one. She's been fantastic out in transition. Mr. Referee. Mr. Referee. Amayaba knocks down the free throw. Londa gives it up to the corner. Gets right back. Almost has it taken away. And now there's a baseline drive. Kicked out to Longomo. Longomo puts up the jumper. That won't go. Rebound stays. Long range jumper, Yomi. Hers won't go either. And a tussle for the rebound ends in a jump ball. Both these teams scrapping to the 50-50 passes. We've seen plenty of tie-ups. It'll be University who have the possession this time round. Full court pressure continues from CNSS and they get a steal. In fact, not. The foul will go against Longomo. She thought she'd taken it away clean, but she picks up her second personal. It'll be Yamayaba to inbound. Little delay in play here. Reason for that was Futsing adjusting her goggles. She's now had to be subbed. Kinge almost turns it over. And she does a Longomo. Comes up with the steal, Longomo, baseline pass. Quick little fake, and Goose gets the defender in the air, takes the contact, makes the layup. Long jumper. Kenge couldn't connect. Only one connection from deep for the University of Douala. Yomi gives it up to Longomo. Longomo takes the pick, but referee will call an offensive foul on that screen. Screen goes, offensive foul going against Mpembele. She picks up her first personal. Gio Lobo losing control of the handle there, tripping over her feet. And so turnover number 14. Nongomo. We are about halfway through the second quarter here. Nongomo passes inside. Nguz tries to find her way to the bucket, gets blocked. Yeah. 
And it was Mbongde who drew that foul. It's been a scrappy stretch of play. CNSS over the limit, more than five team fouls, and so it'll be three throws coming up. Mbong, yet to get on the board. Mbong misses the first. Bong empty trip to the line. Rebound the way of CNSS, but taken quickly back. Kenge coming up with a steal. On the inside now, Bong going to work. Finds the baseline cutter. Amayaba has to bring it back out. Juolobo. Juolobo trying to create space. And now, Amayaba. Her baseline layup won't go. Longomo. Ball to the corner. Drive on the baseline. Fantastic take. The trip to the line now. Coming up. Ngoos. It did well to attack the university defense as she knocks down her first free throw. Misses the second, leaves it short, gets her own rebound and draws another foul. And Guz's aggression going to the basket, paying off big. Eight points in the game so far for Nguz. She's averaged 9.5 in the first two games. Makes good on the first. Second, hits back iron, rebound stays with CNSS. Tolo couldn't finish though. Last touch coming off of Yago. And so CNS, baseline inbound. Long pass over the top to Mpembele, and she knocks it down. Oh, find on the other end, Yagu, set up for the easy lay-in. Longomo. To the top of the key where Nguz is. Nguz puts it on the floor, drives hard, and Nguz gets her way to the bucket. Now in double digits with 11. Kenge. Looks to drive. Kenge looks to kick. She's fouled. The foul will go against Tolo. And so Kenge will hit the line to shoot too. Kenge. Short on the first. Free throw shooting has not been great for University of Dawala. They've made just two from seven attempts. Now two from eight with that attempt. Longomo rebound. Quickly comes CNSS. Taking contact down the floor. Turns it over. Drive on the baseline, Kenge finds the cutter, and Yagu with another two points. Longomo. Oh, she has her pocket picked. Bong, all alone, gets the layup to go, and just like that, off a quick run, 
the University of Douala closing the gap. They're within two. Substitution is here as Londa heads back into the game for CNSS. Longomo gives it up to Londa. Cross court pass, long range, shot won't go, it's short. Rebound into the hands of Mbong Mbong, bringing it up the floor, finds Yago. And now Kenge will settle it down and set it up. Long range shot from the corner. Jump shots have not fallen for University of Douala, but they've done well when they've gotten into the paint. CNSS. Chiyoyo gives it up to Kabi. Now Chiyoyo will pull up for the three. Can't knock it down. Hassle for the rebound. Goes the way of Dwala, but they turn it right back over as Kabi goes inside now and Guz can't finish. On the other end, Mbong takes the contact. She'll head to the free throw line. Mbong 0 of 2 so far at the line. As the foul goes against Chiyoyo. That'll be her first personal. First free throw is good. Perfect trip at the line from Bong, and she brings the score to a tie. Kabi receiving heavy pressure from Futsing. Futsing ultimately whistled for the foul. That'll be her third personal. In fact, no, it's her second personal. But it will send Kabi to the line to shoot two. Kabi gets the first to go, opens her shooting account. Misses on the second. No possession off the rebound, but last touch coming off Duala, and so it'll stay with CNSS. Londa. Catch and shoot, knocks it down. Londa with her third three. Kenge pushing it quickly. Ball moving quick for the university team. Ends in a jump shot on the baseline. Ndombe adds two. It is a two-point game here as we are in the final minute and we have a timeout.
It'll be an inbound from the baseline. For Duala. Kenge. Looks to drive baseline. Kenge. On the swipe through draws the foul. It'll be another personal on Chiyoyo. That's his second. Can get the line shooting too. She knocks down the first. Does King it? She now has an opportunity to tie the game. King it. Goes two for two, ties it up. Kabi. Out to Londa. Londa stops and pops. This time can't get it to fall. Rebound to Mbong. Oh, Mbong tangled up, almost loose. Mid range jumper. Dombek couldn't get it to fall. Kabi. Out the other way. In transit comes CNSS. Almost turn it over once again. It is turned over. Mbong does well to get to the ball. And now she's fouled. She'll have free throws coming up. Fantastic energy and effort from Mbong as Chiyoyo picks up her third personal. Plenty of free throws for both these teams in the first half. 12 each. Most of Daula at 50%, 6 of 10. Now 6 of 13 as Mbong misses that one. Mbong empty trip. Guz. Nguz with the cross, Nguz makes the cross-court pass and the jumper is knocked down by Mpembele. Kenge. Kenge. Kicks it out. Ndombe finds on the baseline but the shot won't go for Yagu. Now CNSS with an opportunity to close the half. They find the trailer, but Londa couldn't connect. And so at half time, it's a two point lead for CNSS. They have 39 to 37.
Coming out the half, it is a narrow two-point lead here for CNSS. It's been a back-and-forth game. They'll have the first possession. Londa leads all scorers. She has 13 for CNSS on the side of University of Douala. It's Yagu who has eight. Yagu's inbounds Longomo. Longomo finds Chiyoyo. Now Nguz back to Chiyoyo. Chiyoyo drives middle, pulls up the jumper, hits front iron. Rebound stays via Longomo. Chiyoyo tries to put up another. She's blocked. Duwala the other way. Kenge driving through the middle, up over the defender. Kenge with a strong take. She's up to six points now. Nguz driving inside, pocket picked. Ndombe came up with that steal. Yagu, top of the key. Out to Ndombe. Last touch comes off of CNSS. And so University of Douala will retain. Kenge. Kenge, hesitation drives. Finds Mbong underneath. Mbong couldn't finish. Longomo. Chiyoyo. Attempts to go, but is whistled for a trap. The 14th turnover for CNSS. Dumbe. Ball rotating around the perimeter drive now. Mbong looks to go inside and Bong goes through two defenders, draws the foul. The foul will go against Tolo. Bong sinks the first of her free throws. Two of two goes in Bong. Longomo, full court pressure now from University of Dola. Falling out of bounds, Chiyoyo turns it over. Ndombe, cross court pass, long range jumper, hits front iron. Rebound into the hands of CNSS. Now Chiyoyo out in transition, draws the contact and one. Chiyoyo with some stunning running. Chiyoyo now at the line to shoot her first free throws in the game. Referee calls it unsportsmanlike on that contact. Decision is confirmed. As the free throw drops for Chiyo, your possession will remain with CNSS. Slight delay in play. Kenge goes to the bench as Giolobo 
checks back in. And looks like Kenge has been ejected from the game. That'll be her second unsportsmanlike foul. And so her afternoon is done. Chiyoyo, long jumper. Chiyoyo gets it to go. Six quick points from Chiyoyo. Giolobo harassed by Longombo. Longombo picks up the foul. That'll be her third personal. Dumbe will inbound. Giolobo. Out in Dombe. Now Futsing trying to find a scene. Futsing creates space, puts up the jumper, knocks it down. Longomo. Ball to the corner, finds Chiyoyo. Cross court pass, baseline drive, bodies everywhere. The foul will go against Mbong. As she made contact on that baseline drive from Nguz. Two point game. CNSS with the lead. <laughs> Substitution on the floor. As Mbong hits the foul, she picked up her third, her fourth personal bet. Longomo. Long range shot, Chiyoyo this time, can't knock it down, rebound into the hands of Yago. And Yago. Oh man, on the inbound play. Futsing, just losing her footing there. And so that'll result in a turnover. It'll be a baseline inbound for CNSS. Longomo kicks it out. Chiyoyo now makes the extra pass. Nguz drives baseline. Nguz stuck between defenders. Nguz's tenacity but can't make the layup. And on the rebound, Ayenga fouled on the putback. Foul will go against Yagu. That'll be just her first personal. As Ayenga hits the line to shoot two. Hits front iron on the first. Ayenga couldn't get points on the board there and a lane violation so automatically the ball goes the way of University of Duala. Strong pressure from Chiyoyo on the ball handler. Ndombe now. Futsal gives it back, top of the key. Drive on the inside, around the defenders. Shot clock winding down. They've got to put up a shot here. Oh, and the steal. Tolo coming across the lane, picking it up. Finds the trailer. CNSS extend their lead to four. Jolobo out to Ndumbo. Ndumbo all alone throws it up way short. As University of 
Duala now put on the full court pressure themselves. Longomo drops it off and Ayenga just not able to hold on there. And so it'll be a turnover. Putsing. Ball goes inside. Was good work for Kaimisina to take on the defense there. Draws the foul. Foul against Tolo. That'll be Tolo's third personal here in the third quarter. Try to get the ball into Futsang. Knocked out of bounds by Longomo. Giolobo pulls up the three-point shot. That won't go. Giolobo still struggling to connect. Rebound stays. Giolobo now makes the cross-court pass. Jilobo will put up another three. Can't get it to go. Second chance opportunity won't go either, but there's a foul. The foul will go against University of Dola. It'll be CNSS ball. Longomo. Pushing it quickly down the floor. Longomo having it taken away. Fantastic defense by Futsing. There's contact. It'll go against CNSS as Giolobo goes to ground. Foul will go against Longombo. That'll be her fourth personal. Foul trouble starting to creep in here for both teams as Longombo has to head to the bench and Kabi makes her way back in. Amayaba will inbound. Mayaba makes the extra pass. Now the drive from Fotso. Fotso finds the baseline cutter. Layup won't go. Rebound stays. Giolobo now. Passes it across. Amayaba looks to drive. Amayaba. Baseline drive and that's good. Two more points for University of Dawila. Tolo. Now to Kabi, Kabi. Cross court. Chiyoyo puts up another three, this time short. And on the rebound, it'll be a jump ball. Possession arrow favoring University of Dola. Putsing, sizing up Kabi, tries to give it to the roller, wouldn't go and it'll be another jump ball. Nguz, bringing it up for CNSS, Nguz. Going all the way to the bucket, takes the contact. Layup won't go, but she'll head to the line. Giolobo picks up that foul. That'll be her third personal. 
Nguz already been at the line to shoot five free throws. She's 60% from the floor so far. Makes the first. Good on the second as well, and Guz now has 13 points. She came in the game averaging 9.5 as the leading scorer for the CNSS team. Ball in the hands of Futsing. Now Mayaba moving around the perimeter to the corner. Long range jumper won't go. Rebound Tolo. Gabi. Pushing it for CNSS. Their long range jump shot won't go. Came out of the hands of Ayenga. On the other end, Fotso. She can't connect. The three point shooting has not been great. University of Douala, just one of nine. They came in shooting it at just 12.5% in the first two games. Averaging two threes a game of 16 attempts. There's some contact off the ball. The foul will go against Nguz. Nguz picks up her second personal foul and on that, Futsing will have an opportunity at the line. More than five team fouls for CNSS here. Yeah? Putzing makes the first of her free throws. Oh, misses on the second. Does Putzing. Another battle for the rebound, a tie up. The possession will stay with the University of Douala. Amayaba on the inbound. Long inbound pass to the top of the key. Giolobo hesitates, looks to drive, kicks it cross court. Amayaba drives and gets it to go. Fantastic take for Amayaba. She moves into double digits, now has 11 points. Nguz. Kicks to the corner. Chiyoyo. Makes the extra pass. Long jumper falls short. Tolo on the follow. Leaves on on the front of the rim. Giolobo. Picks up her dribble. Ball moving quickly around the perimeter now. Drive inside. Extra pass. Shot clock will expire as the ball moves around for University of Douala. University of Douala getting most of their points in the paint and now CNSS making it difficult. Kabi driving inside. Kicks out to Tolo. Tolo will put up the long range three. That's good. Tolo showing her range. Putsing drives all the way, gets the contact. Putsing did well to get Londa in the air there. Londa picks up her second personal and sends a Putsing to the line.
Londa just a little shaken up after the crash there. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter. We've seen some fantastic back and forth action here. Just a three point game now of that Futsung free throw. Futsung with a perfect trip. Goes two for two, moves to seven points. Kabi. Heavily guarded is Kabi. Gets the double team almost. Coming up the steal, Joala. Just 13 seconds left on the shot clock for CNSS to put up a bucket. Londa inbounds to Tolo. Tolo tries to give it back to Londa, but she's not quite in bounds, and so it'll be a turnover. Frustration from coach there. Not enjoying the unforced error. Amayaba. Hands it off, Giolobo. Tries to pass it back to Mamiyaba. She manages to hold on. Amayaba looks to drive. Goes through the middle right by the defense. Can't get it to go. Now quickly in transition, Gabi taken away by Fotso. Fotso, fantastic effort there. Giolobo. Into the pick and roll they go. Finding Amayaba now. Amayaba on the inside, kicks a corner. Defender in the air, stop and pop. The jumper is good for Fotso. Tolo for CNSS. Finds the cutter. Oh, and the layup blown on the inside. Giolobo, cross-court pass, and it goes out of bounds. It's another turnover, turnover number 21 for Duala. Nguz looks to drive, Nguz called for the travel. Just 38 seconds left to go here in the third quarter and teams are tied up. Giolobo gives it up. Futsing looking to drive. Futsing drawing another foul. Crafty ball handler is a footing. She's been 75% from the line so far. Three or four. First one goes down. Knocks down the second as well. Just a two second differential between shot and glen clock here. And there's a foul called. It'll be two shots coming up. And so CNSS with an opportunity to tie the game back up without taking time off the clock. First free throw. Kisses off the front of the rim for Chiyoyo.
Makes good on the second, however, does Chiyoyo, remains 50% from free throw range. Futsing quickly down the floor, finds Ayam Amayaba. Oh, double team. Futsing manages to get it, puts it down, and easy bucket for Kaminisa underneath the rim. Kora winding down, and that will bring us to the end of the third. It's a narrow three-point lead for the University of Daula. They are 56 to the 53 of CNSS. We're into the fourth and final quarter, just 10 minutes left here to determine a winner. Both these teams seeking their first win after losing two games apiece. Nguz driving from the top of the key, Nguz through all the defense, gets an air ball. Duwala will have the possession. Putsing makes the pass out. Now Mayaba, top of the key. They go inside. Kaimisina couldn't quite get it to go. They last touch coming off CNSS though. And so possession remains. Just six seconds left on the shot clock. Inbound pass taken away, and now in a foot race, Chiyoyo finds the trailer. Trailer couldn't catch, stolen back by Amayaba. Putsing pass outside. Now, Gio Lobo, Gio Lobo still struggling to connect. Hits front iron on that one. Guz down the floor, two on one, and one bucket. Nguz, the facilitator there, finding Londa. And Londa will have the three-point play. She now leads all scorers. She's got 15 points. Fantastic performance from Londa. She's hit three from outside. Shooting it at 37.5%.
came into the game having shot it at 23% in the previous two. Misses on the free throw, does Londa, but there's a violation, it seems. No, in fact, it'll go the way of Dola. Full court pressure now from CNSS. Futsing. Dribbling down the floor. Futsing gets by all the defenders. Futsing. Gets it to go. Tolo. CNSS come quickly. And the travel will go against Tolo. Turnover number 22 for CNSS. Both these teams turning it over at a high clip, 22 apiece. Putting more control. Ball to the corner now inside to Kai Messina. Kai Messina makes the extra pass. A swarm of defenders plugging up the inside. But Jagu manages to find the seam and draw the foul. Foul going against Londa. Londa picking up her third personal. Free throw won't go for Yago. She's now over three in this game from the charity stripe. Second free throw won't go either. Battle for the rebound. Kamisina came up with it. Now Futsing. Closely guarded by Longoma. Gets a screen. Futsing looks to drive. Throws it up. And she's foul. Referee says it was on the floor. It'll go against Chiyoyo. Chiyoyo picks up her fourth personal. Mayaba out to Futsing. Futsing on the inside. Extra kick. Floater won't go. Rebound the way of CNSS. Nguz tries to go. Kicks it out. Shot is short. Rebound. Put back. Tolo with her fourth offensive rebound. Quick take on the inside. Possession will remain with Duala as Kabi checks back in for CNSS. On the inside, Kai Messina drives on the baseline, gets the two. Londa, long shot, can't knock it down. On the follow, Longoma cleans it up. Putsing going against Kabi. Kabi instantly whistled for the foul. That'll be Kabi's third personal. She's played just 11 minutes, picked up three fouls already. Dombe inbounds into the hands of Futsing. Trying to find a pass inside, has to go across court. Amayaba, she looks to drive, fumbles the ball, gets tied up. We'll have another jump ball here.
Boom. Wild shot. Won't go. Rebound into the hands of Londa. Kabi pushing it quickly for CNSS. Tolo will put up another from three. This time can't knock it down. Londa on the follow. Can't put that down either. Now in transition come Duala. Ndombe slows it down. Futsing. Kicks wide. Top of the paint. Jumper won't go from Bong. Long rebound. Ends up out of bounds. And possession will head the way of CNSS. Just a one point game here. With six minutes and 22 seconds to go. Kabi. Offensive foul called. It'll go against Londa. That'll be Londa's fourth personal foul. Couple of players on four here for CNSS. Longomo's got four. Londa's got four now as well. Putzing. Gives the dribble handoff. They go inside. Shot won't go for Yago. Rebound stays, however, quick baseline drive. Putzing. Has it knocked out of bounds? Mayaba. Driving baseline. Kick outside. Now Futsing, Futsing pulls up the jumper. That's short. Rebound, put back. Won't go for Yago. And there's a foul underneath the rim. In fact, it wasn't a foul, but possession will head the way of CNSS. Kabi. Passes it out. Longomo now. Longomo goes straight downhill to the bucket. Kabi gets the steal off the full court pressure from CNSS. Longomo drives again. Baseline takes the contact. Layup won't go. She'll hit the line to shoot two. Longomo just being more aggressive offensively down the stretch here. Looking to put some points on the board. She has a chance now to extend the lead for CNSS to three. <laughs> Misses on the first free throw. Can't make good on the second empty trip at the line for Longomo. Jolobo hands off to Futsing. Now Futsing, long range jumper, that won't go. Hits front iron. CNSS in transition, Longomo. Gets tangled up. She's whistled for the travel as she tried to avoid the defender there. Twenty-four turnovers for CNSS. They lead by one. Puts in to Amayaba. Inside they go to Mbong. Mbong drives baseline. Mbong has it knocked out of bounds. And referee says last touch off blue. Longomo.
Gadi now. Calls for the pick. Kabi picks up the dribble. She's fouled by Mayaba. Abayaba picking up her second personal. Longomo, strong take inside. Almost has it taken away. There's a foul. The foul will go against Longomo. And that'll mean an end to her afternoon. Her fifth personal foul, Longomo, who's been so important to this team here, fouls out of the game. She leaves the game with eight points on three or four shooting from the floor, two or four from free throw, along with seven rebounds, three assists, and two steals. Giolobo at the line with a chance to tie the game up or to get the lead in fact she's already tied it up and sinks the second two very important points down the stretch first points in the game for Giolobo who came in as the leading scorer Kabi loses it on the other end on the drive Giolobo Now Jesus, cross-court pass, Futsing looks to drive, Amayaba now, Amayaba finds a way through all the yellow jerseys, gets to the rim. Oh, another full court pressure, Giesi forces the turnover. And so Diala with an opportunity to extend their lead. They now lead by three points. It's been frenetic back and forth action here. We've had 12 lead changes. Largest lead for Diala has been five. For CNSS, it's been six points. And we have a timeout. Just over halfway through the fourth quarter, it's University of Douala who leads 64 to 61. Just under four minutes before one of these teams pick up their first win in this edition of the FIBA African Women's Basketball League. Amayaba inbounds to Futsing. Ball making its way around the perimeter. Now a strong drive. Kick to the corner. Almost losing the handle, but manages to get it to Amayaba. Amayaba throws it away. And now Nguz all alone in transition blows the layup.
Futsing. Heinduk zu Amayaba. Corner, Futsing drives baseline. Futsing puts it up, it's short. Gets her own rebound. Now, Gio Lobo still can't connect. Yet to make a field goal in the game. On the other end, Chiyoyo tries to knock down a three. It's way short. Rushed shot there. Putsing will slow it down for University of Douala. Did you see? Finds Amayaba. Amayaba, long range jumper, can't connect. Kabi with the rebound. Kabi is fouled, going in transition. Foul will go against Mbong. Mbong now has her fourth personal. Only player in foul trouble for Duala. Tolo drives inside, kicks it down to Kabi. Kabi around the defense, can't get it to go. Man, and we've seen some tough battles for rebounds there. The ref calls over the back. The foul will go against CNSS. Tolo will get charged for it. That'll be Tolo's fourth foul. Coach frustrated by that call. There will be free throws coming up the other end. Amayaba will take them. She is one of one in the game so far from Charity Stripe. Makes it two of two. Sinks the second as well. Lead extended for Duala. Another steal from Duala. Amayaba came up with it. Futsing, calming the troops, setting up the offense. Juessi gives it back to Futsing. Juessi. Driving inside, kicks to the corner, footsing baseline drive, pulls up the jumper, that's no good. Tussle for a rebound, it's saved by Mbong. But it'll be a shot clock violation. Under two minutes left to go. Five point game. The lead belongs to the University of Douala. Quickly down the floor, and Zuz takes a strong drive, gets fouled. And Zuz hits the line, she's 5 of 7 from there, shooting it at 71%. Rest of the CNSS team at around 55%. And she sinks the first. It is tense moments here down the stretch. Goes with an opportunity to cut this lead to four, and she does. Cuts it to three, in fact. And we have a timeout. We're in for an exciting two minutes here.
just two minutes left to go here in the final quarter. Duala with possession of the ball, Futsing. Amayaba drops it inside. Comes back out and now Futsing with it in the corner. Amayaba drives once again over the defender. Amayaba with a big bucket down the stretch. Extends the lead back up to five. Mguz finds Tolo. Tolo driving inside past the defense. Tolo can't finish. Duala clean up the rebound. Giolobo. And on the drive, Amayaba whistled for the travel. And we have another timeout. Just one minute and 16 seconds left here for one of these teams to pick up their first win in the Africa Women's Basketball League. It'll be CNSS ball. Londa will inbound. They trail by five. Ball taken away on the inbound. Amayaba gives it up, but it's thrown back into the hands of CNSS. There was a kickball called there. And another steal on the inbound. Amayaba with her fourth steal. Putsing. Ball knocked out of bounds by Londa. And just nine seconds left on the shot clock for University of Deola to put up a shot. Under a minute left to go. Did you see? Pass it out, jumper won't go. It stays with Daula off the offensive rebound. Now Futsing setting it up. Giolobo makes the extra pass. Now Futsing from the baseline. Shot rattles in and out. Tolo brings it quickly down the floor for CNSS. Goes coast to coast. Layup too strong off the backboard, but she's fouled and so she has a chance at the line. Seven points in the game for Tolo. She heads the line for the first time in the game. Came in shooting it at around 60% from the charity strike. Tolo makes good on the first. Cuts the lead to four. Tolo with clutch free throws makes two of two. We now have a one possession game. Just three points separate these two teams. 30 seconds. Full court pressure for CNSS trying to get a stop. They do get a stop. Tolo gets the steal. Tolo goes to the bucket. She's blocked. Fantastic defensive effort. 
but it's taken back again, but thrown away. Kabi with the quick pass, throws it to the outside. And now University of Daula want to set it up for the final 15 seconds. They call the timeout. We have seen a slew of turnovers here down the stretch. And now University of Daula with an opportunity to have the final possession of the game. Potential for CNSS to foul here to stop the clock. And give themselves more of an opportunity. Amayaba will inbound. Ball goes into the hands of Jesse. Just moving the ball around. Ah, Daula. No foul coming from CNSS. And that will bring us to the end of the game. A narrow three-point win for the University of Daula as they outlast CNSS 68-65. to 65.